Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Mustard channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, we're going to talk about a project that literally got listed on Coinbase today. And this project is called Biconomy or the Bico token, right? Again, as always guys, I highly recommend you guys to do your own research on any other project you cover on our channel. And for this project, I recommend you guys to go to the website Biconomy.io in order to learn more about this product, right? So for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to rely on the information present on coin market caps page for this token, but this is only going to be a peripheral analysis, which means you need to do your own in-depth research before you put your hard and money on this token, right? So what is Biconomy? Biconomy provides plug and play APIs to make web 3.0 user friendly and frictionless. We are on a mission to make a decentralized web accessible to everyone. We are the missing piece to crypto adoption for onboarding the next billion. Our APIs and SDKs transform any dApp to become usable for anyone regardless of their crypto knowledge and experience. Our multi-chain relayer infrastructure processes almost 50k transactions daily for 70 plus dApps to ensure all the benefits of Web 3.0 come with the intuitiveness of Web 2.0. So again, there's a lot of information to unravel, so let's just do that. When it comes to Biconomy, it's a platform that provides a plug and play APIs in order to uh, mainly focus on bringing Web 3.0, uh, you know, in a user-friendly manner to everyone uh, who haven't really used Web 3.0, right? So Web 3.0 basically is the decentralized web, which is the pinnacle of internet and it's something that uh, the crypto community is aiming to achieve in the future and Biconomy is basically making it easy for all the apps and dApps to uh, you know uh, be linked to the web 3.0 ecosystem in a user friendly and frictionless manner right and their main mission or focus is to make web uh, you know decentralized web accessible to everyone and also, they are trying to onboard uh, billions of people onto the Web 3.0 uh, ecosystem, right? So their APIs and SDKs uh, are mainly focused on transforming dApps to become usable to anyone regardless of crypto knowledge and experience. So they're trying to make it easy for anyone to onboard into the Web 3.0 platform. And their multi-chain relayer infrastructure, uh, you know, can technically process uh, 50,000 daily transactions. So they, they're basically claiming that they can process almost 50K uh, in daily uh, transactions for over 70 dApps, which is pretty cool. And they ensure they, they want to ensure that uh, the benefits of Web 3.0 uh, come with the same uh, user interface as well as effectiveness uh, as of uh, Web 2.0, which is the current internet that we're using right now. So when we use internet right now, we are using through a centralized means, um, you know, where uh, a lot of our activities are being tracked by big corporate giants. But in a decentralized web, you are free to, you know, do what you want to do without any form of, uh, you know, uh, privacy infringement or being tracked by any government or non-government organization, right? So Biconomy mainly focuses on bringing Web 3.0 uh, to the masses in a fully user-friendly and intuitive manner, right? So that's mainly the main focus of Biconomy. So here's the problem that they're trying to solve. Every interaction with a dApp in a, is a blockchain transaction and blockchain transactions are complicated. Users have to be proficient with crypto wallets, deal with gas, actively manage each transaction, move funds across various chains and much more. Even then, they face a broken experience fraught with long wait times and failed transactions. This is especially daunting for crypto newbies who face a steep learning curve just to get started. So again, this statement is 100% true and I fully agree with every single word that they say. So yes, currently you know, Web 3.0 is extremely restricted and complicated because um, I remember when I joined crypto, I was actually like extremely frightened because of uh, the terms called wallets. You know, you need to remember your seed phrase. You need to understand that there are things known as 
uh, you know uh, different chains uh, that can technically um, uh, you know run different uh, uh, you know, coins or tokens. Uh, Ethereum obviously the most popular blockchain is a very slow uh, blockchain when it comes to transactions and the transaction speeds to do a simple swap on Uniswap would cost more than 50 bucks or even uh, sometimes over 100 bucks per transaction right. And even after increasing gas your transaction could take hours uh, and sometimes it could still fail. So these are all actual like problems that you are facing in the web 3.0 right now and Bioeconomy is mainly aiming to fix all of these issues and make it much more user friendly for the users right. The mainstream user does not want to deal with these blockchain headaches. They expect the dApp to deal with gas, transaction management, bridges and everything under the hood. So again, obviously uh, if you if you want to bring web 3.0 to the masses you need to first of all make it easy for regular people day to day folks who do not really have a lot of computer knowledge um, you know to use conveniently right. So in order to do that Bioeconomy is basically trying to make it easier for everyone and making sure that everyone can access it the same way they access let us say uh, they access Google or they open an email and send an email right. Even opening emails were considered to be an extreme challenge uh, a few years back but now everyone can access an email through their mobile phones. Similarly Bioeconomy is aiming to do the exact same thing but for decentralized web right. Uh, that is where Bioeconomy comes in. Bioeconomy provides a quick and, sim uh, quick and simple way for dApps to, uh, dApps to abstract away these complexities from their users. So again as we discussed these are the main types of challenges that Bioeconomy is aiming to solve and if Bioeconomy could solve this, this is going to be a revolutionary project that is going to literally change the course of uh, the future of uh, humanity for the, for the long run right. So simplifying web 3.0 with Bioeconomy users get a simple multi-chain experience where they connect their wallet to any dApp instantly access their funds on any chain or layer 2 rollups and enjoy a completely gasless experience. So again um, when it comes to Bioeconomy some of the features that it offers are a multi-chain experience. So you can basically go to Bioeconomy and access all the different chains in a single platform and you know you do not necessarily have to worry about installing and connecting a wallet everything is built within the system itself. So it is all done instantaneously your funds can get transferred instantaneously. Uh, sometimes you can have access to layer 2 or roll up liquidity which is going to be very useful because currently we have liquidity isolated in silos in different blockchains. Uh, Bioeconomy is aiming to change that and they also want to give a gasless user experience which is going to be a huge deal because gas is one of the main barriers to entry for newcomers into crypto right. That is going to definitely change with Bioeconomy coming into play. We enable this superior experience through powerful features such as free gasless transactions, instant cross chain transfers, flexible options to pay gas, uh, assured successful transaction, simple instant onboarding to scaling solutions, automatically connect to any layer 2 and EVM compatible chains, cheap and instant cross chain contract calls etc. So again these are all some of the many use cases that Bioeconomy is aiming to bring to, to the table right. The future of the internet is decentralized and Bioeconomy is a critical infrastructure on which it will stand. We make web 3.0 more usable, interoperable and composable. So again the same thing that I just mentioned right now about how Bioeconomy is aiming to be this crucial infrastructure for the future of decentralized web right and they are trying to make it interoperable, composable, easy to access and user friendly altogether. So who are the founders of Bioeconomy? So, uh, I am not going to go through this in detail but as you can see some of the main founders uh, include Ahmed Al Balagi, uh, Sachin Tomer and Aniket Jindal all have uh, you know been uh, in the crypto space uh, since 2019 which is quite a bit uh, you know uh, in, when it comes to crypto space uh, 2019 is one of the earliest uh, times that you could uh, you know, expect a pr older project to survive. And it seems like Bioeconomy has survived since 2019 and as you guys know not a lot of projects survive that long. So Bioeconomy has been around for quite some time right. So overall 
uh, all of the founders and co-founders have a lot of knowledge and experience because of their education. They worked in multiple different companies which you can see on the screen right now. And overall, they are very smart people who are fully capable and competent to building by economy and making the decentralized web much more accessible to the masses, right? So when it comes to tokenomics, we'll cover this one in a few seconds. But overall, that this is pretty much the quick overview of what this project is. And I think uh, they haven't really covered about the token itself, which we'll probably be able to get some more idea into when we go to the website, right? So going to the buyeconomy.io website, again, they have a pretty cool website with a uh, nice and cool font. So Buyconomy, it's the next generation multi-chain relayer protocol. That's basically what they call themselves as. Making Web 3.0 frictionless and mainstream. That's their main ultimate goal, right? You can learn more by clicking on the learn more button, but this is kind of like how Buyconomy is aiming to be picturesquely. So it is a building block and therefore Buyconomy is going to allow for some of the greatest uh, chains uh, and dApps and applications to be built on top of it and to be an easy facilitator for several transactions, right? So plug and play APIs built by developers for developers. So this is something that they are claiming to be supporting uh, developers, which will help uh, encourage more developers to come to this ecosystem and build and thereby uh, flourishing this ecosystem, right? Focus on your competitive advantage. So you ship fast and not break things. Uh, start building Redox. So if you are a developer who wants to start building on Biconomy, click on the start building icon here. I think this is kind of like, uh, you know, a lot of information. This is an information about how uh, you can download the magical experiences, uh, which is again, they, I think it's a software. Uh, build for pioneers trusted by leaders. Uh, so here you can clearly see people talking about Biconomy. Uh, you know, even Andre Crony, who is the uh, mastermind in uh, you know find uh, you know in uh, creating yearn finance as well as kp3r he has commented on uh, by economy himself so it's very interesting to see that uh, some of the partners so these are all some of the partners they're partner with the central and co finance and several other notable projects as well they are running on the ethereum uh, blockchain polygon network binance smart chain uh, x tie chain as well as moonbeam so these are all some of the chains that they're working on <coughs> So when it comes to uh, information about uh, you know the protocol itself, they have hyphen. Uh, you can basically use to integrate it right now with your uh, you know with your DApps and apps. Uh, gasless, so they're trying to focus on giving gas-free experience. Uh, forward is basically something that helps them uh, have flexible gas payments if you want to have gas payments with your app or DApp. And that's also possible, right? The revolution will be televised, so. Again, they are obviously having a YouTube channel which you can uh, subscribe to and learn more about this project. But it's a pretty cool website and uh, you know you, YouTube channel as well, right? So backed by the best, so they're backed by Binance, which is one of the most uh, you know notable names. Uh, and Binance uh, will you know Binance has been uh, one of the uh, companies that's backing by economy. Then they can definitely expect a potential Binance listing as well uh, when it comes to Coinbase ventures, uh, that's one of the reasons why I believe Coinbase has listed this token. So again, since Binance and Coinbase are supporting this project, I think this project has a lot of potential, right? It's going to be extremely uh, massive in the future. And we have other, uh, you know, backers as well. Some of the names include Huobi Ventures, uh, Ledger Prime, uh, there's also uh, Fenbushi Capital, all of them are pretty good names and the rest of them are definitely uh, good you know, backers, but at the same time, they're not that popular compared to these big names, right? So, dare to dream, subscribe to us and don't miss any update about our new launches. So, if you want to uh, join their newsletter, type the email here and click the subscribe button. And apart from that, they have the social media information and that's pretty much it, right? So, we're all a pretty cool website with a lot of uh, information present by its size pieces. So, let's go back to the coin market cap page for this token, right? So, this token is currently ranked 2774th by market cap on coin market cap. And the token is about $14.01 per token at the time I'm making this video. With about, uh, again, here the information in coin market cap is not that accurate. So, please bear with me, bear with me guys. I think this token is already quite up uh, because if you look at um, you know, coin gecko, you can clearly see that this token is already up 100%. So, I think this token is uh, doing pretty well. 
and this token will continue to do pretty well if it aims to you know if it if it kind of like manages to achieve whatever it aims right so when it comes to market cap this information is not really available right now it's not even available on coin gecko as well so again it will be a little bit of time before we get the updated market cap information so for now we can't really comment on that but when it comes to total token supply this 1 billion tokens in you know total token supply and i think uh, the 1 billion tokens will definitely be helping the ecosystem grow by providing rewards and incentives to projects but uh, after a point of time i think there will be a question on whether the token supply will be burned or something like that that will happen in the future and i think the biconomy team are definitely working on that already right now but overall i think with 1 billion tokens as a token supply the token can still despite having short term like a gain uh, you know short term uh, sideways movements uh, i think this token will definitely perform well in the long term uh, despite the you know kind of like vast number of tokens that this token has right there's no information about the circulating supply and max supply so we don't really know about that so let's not comment on that and let's move on so when it comes to the token itself this token is obviously performed extremely well in the recent times it was initially worth obviously less than zero uh, there's a lot of zeros here but it's less than 1 cent but it kind of spiked up uh, as of uh, early this year when the token went from $5.56 to a new all time highs of about uh, $11.48 and then now it's obviously the newer all time highs but it's actual all time highs was $15.04 which was the peak of this project I think uh, it, it, this token will easily kind of like pump beyond the 15 token mark and will definitely give a lot of like uh, you know uh, gains for early investors right so if you are investing this product right now then you are definitely an early investor when it comes to price itself I would not buy this token at this price point I will probably wait for this token to cool down it seems to have some form of a resistance at $12 and maybe at $10 as well so it will be interesting to see if this token goes below the $12 or $10 mark and then what will be the base point or the floor price I think the floor price would be somewhere between 10 to 11 dollars per token but it could be higher again it depends on a lot of factors I don't really know the market cap so I can't really say it for sure right but if you're trying to buy this token right now this is not the best time to buy this token it's in fact the worst time to buy because it's close to its all-time highs which means you need to wait for a bit before this token cools down to buy this token right when it comes to the Bitcoin compared to itself the token has a pretty similar pattern initially it was uh, at priced at about uh, you know 9700 satoshis but now it's kind of like uh, again close to its all time highs close to 2500 satoshis so again this token is definitely doing well in the bitcoin comparative so if you're willing to accumulate bitcoin uh, certain bitcoin satoshis or bitcoins itself then you can definitely start trading this if you know what you're doing right again not financial advice this is my opinion i think both in bitcoin and dollar comparative the price needs to come down i think for the bitcoin comparative probably i would probably see like a 2000 satoshi mark would be a best opportunity to buy in but I think uh, you know I think this token is definitely going to perform well in the long run because of what it aims to achieve right so when it comes to the markets itself this token is available on several tier 1 tier 2 exchanges itself Huobi Global has the largest liquidity but it's also available on Get.io, uh, USD uh, sorry uh, FTX as well as uh, Bybit OKEX as well as Coinbase as well so Binance is the only few kind of like a major actual exchanges that hasn't really performed well so I'm going to say that Binance will definitely probably list this token but I think it's going to take some time right but if Coinbase has listed this already along with FTX who will be global and OKX it makes sense that Binance doesn't want to be left behind and therefore they'll also provide huge liquidity which will pr push the price of this token to the moon right so again that's just my verdict guys so uh, I would probably say that this token is obviously something that's uh, you know maybe uh, you know it's a token that uh, easily can perform well by the end of this bull run and I believe that this token can easily cross the $20 mark by the end of this bull run which is my price prediction for this uh, token for the short term in the long term which is about 3 to 5 years from now I think this token can easily cross $25 to $30 per token and then maybe have a floor price of about uh, $24 to $23 per token right so again this is just my verdict guys remember guys you guys are not regular investors you guys are brutal investors so stay brutal thank you very much for watching my video guys if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos see you in my next video Bye.